Hello, Facebook. Happy Friday. Good morning. Welcome to my Friday Live. I am a little bit early today, a few hours. Um, my cat, kitten, Oliver, is getting neutered today. So I dropped him off this morning and I'm waiting to on the call to go pick him up. And I figured it'd be around three o'clock, which is my normal time to go live. So I thought I'd hop on a few hours early and work on a project with you all today. So this is what we're going to be making. We're going to be using the art gallery bundle. And there's the project we're going to be working on today, a birthday card. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I will be announcing my giveaway winner from last week's live. It was for the corner bouquet stamp set. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to go over a couple of things. My March host code is up in the corner there. If you place a $50 order with me, you'll receive the Butterfly Brilliance tutorial. And a $100 order gets you the fine art ribbon, which we'll be using today in a whole roll of that. And also next Friday, there will be no live. I will be in Chicago. So I'm not going to do a live, but I will have a video for you guys. It just won't be live. And same goes for Saturday in my VIP group. And if you are not a part of my VIP group yet, I encourage you to join. Um, we do a lot of fun things in there. And I do giveaways and videos on Saturday that preview the upcoming blog posts um, on Sassy Paper Crafts. So let's get started with this card today. So like I said, we're going to be using the fine art or the art gallery, sorry, uh, stamp set and dies that go with it, which is the floral gallery dies. And for the dies, we're going to be using three of them. I'm using the leaves, the flower, and the banner. I've already pre-cut them, so I'm not going to keep them out. I just wanted to show you the dies we are be using. And this card looks kind of complicated. It's actually very simple. And so to start, I got a piece of basic white, not this one, this one, and this is the thick, so it's really good for card bases. I cut that um, at four and a quarter by 11 and scored it at five and a half. We're going to set that aside. We don't need that right now. And then you'll need a piece of flirty flamingo. I don't have a blank piece here, but this is the embossed piece I did, and this is cut at five and a quarter by four. And you don't have to worry about writing any of this down right now. I'm going to have a blog post up after this video within the hour. So probably by noon it'll be up. But to get this cool effect, I used the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. And all I did was I took my ink pad, Flirty Flamingo, opened it, and... I call it the front. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but the part that says Stampin' Up to me is the front. So on that part, I took my ink pad and just inked up the whole folder and then placed my paper in, closed it, ran it through my die cutting machine, and it came out like this. And these embossing folders, to clean them, you just run it underwater and the ink comes right off, leave it to dry, and it's good to go for your next project. And then we're also going to be using the Golden Garden Acetate, which looks like this. And just so you know, on our acetate sheets, on the silver side, there is a very clear film. I don't have it on this one, but there's a clear film that you will have to peel off um, before you use it. I can show you really quick on... Let's see if I can find the hydrangea mercury glass. Because I honestly did not know that. I saw that in a demonstrator group that there was a clear film on it. And I was very surprised. I said, oh, well, that makes such a difference. I, of course, I cannot find another sheet. Oh, I found my, let's see if I have some on here. So this is the Golden Garden specialty paper, the acetate. I don't know if I didn't take it off of this one. So if you look, there is a film on the back of that. And it makes the silver look so much better. But the other side is gold. 
Then you just discard that. And I had no idea about it until I read that. I, said, hmm, I wonder if mine has that. Sure enough, there it was. So you want to remove that. It made cutting the acetate so much easier too. So for that, I also, oh, and I also used the, uh, was it Fine Art? I think it's Fine Art Designer Series paper. It's two-sided. And I like this painted watercolor design. And the colors in this are pumpkin pie and flirty flamingo. So I just thought complement nicely. The nice thing about this kind of paper is you get a different look. So that's the finished card there. And this one is slightly brighter. So I'm going to show you how to assemble that in a minute. First, we're going to do some stamping. Let's get our stamping done. So I used four stamps. I used, this is a two-step stamp. So I used the fill-in part of the flower, the highlight, the leaves, and then our sentiment is happy birthday. Let me get my scrap paper. I'm black. And so for the fill-in part, what I like to do for the fill-in of any two-step stamp is I go in a lighter color, and then the highlight I do darker. So for this, we're going to use Flirty Flamingo. I need to re-ink my Flirty Flamingo. And this is kind of a small piece of scrap I have, but... And then let me clean that off because we need this black again. And then we'll put on our highlight piece. And for that, I went in with pumpkin pie. And at first, it sounds like a really odd color combination, but I really love the effect and how it turned out. I'm just going to ink that up. And then to line it up, there's a big circle, and I try to find this part in the circle and just line it up. And it really doesn't matter how it comes out because it is a highlight and it's more of an abstract kind of design. And that looks incredibly dark. I promise you it's not. <laughs> Once it dries, it turns into like a true orange. And clean this stamp. And then we will stamp our leaves. And also our sentiment. I can stamp that really quick because with these labels, this is the one I cut out. I like to cut the label out first since they tend to be a little longer than I'm used to. And then I stamp on it once it's already die cut. So we're going to stamp our happy birthday. Try to line that up in the center. And we are done with the flirty flamingo. And for the leaves, I used granny apple green. That's what it looks like. Didn't write that part down. I have no idea if I cleaned this or not, so I'm going to clean it again. can never be too clean. I like to clean up as I go, so that way my desk is a disaster by the time I'm done filming. I don't want that one. I want this one. So like I said, next Friday, I will be doing a pre-recorded video because we will be in Chicago. We're going to the Friends Experience. I'm super excited about it. Um, and we'll just, we're just going for the day, taking the train down. But have you ever been to Chicago? If you have, tell me in the comments where I should go, what I should see. We're only there, like I said, about 24 hours, so I don't have time to do too much, but... We have a few hours, spare hours there. Well, hi, Lori. I see you're watching today. Happy Friday. And clean that stamp. And then those dies I showed in the beginning of the video, you're just going to use those to cut these out. And once you cut them out, you have that. And see, like I said, the pumpkin pie looks kind of dark when you first stamp it, but once it dries, it turns into a nice orange. And that's our stamping done. So now we're ready to assemble our card. 
So I have the Fine Art Desire Series paper. This is cut at five inches by two inches. And so is the Golden Garden Acetate. And like I said, all of the dimensions and details for this will be on my blog after this video. So for the acetate, when you put it down, you don't want to use snail or liquid glue or anything like that because you're going to be able to see right through it. So for this, to adhere it to the panel here, I use mini glue dots. And what I like to do is try to find a thick line here to hide it. And we are going to be covering up some of the acetate with ribbon and flour of the flour week die cut. But I still like to try to hide it the best I can. You don't want your glue showing. It's not pretty. I just kind of press it there and like roll it and pull out my paper pier. So you could use a take your pick tool for this or even a toothpick if you don't have a take your pick tool or paper piercer. I highly recommend the paper piercer. I use this thing for everything. I do like the take your pick tool as well, but for some reason I reach for my paper piercer a lot more. And then since I know where my ribbon's going to go, I am just going to place a couple in the middle here. That way too I can show you what it looks like if you just randomly place adhesives. So I'll put this down. Just line it up. Push. And then so I don't know if you can see that. But there is where my glue dots are. And you can clearly see that they're there. So we're going to cover that up with our ribbon. And I have the 3 8 inch fine art gold ribbon. So in the way I measure this. Is go across. And cut. So it's giving me like a rough measurement. And Lori asked, what are the stamp pads made from felt or foam? I believe they are foam. Uh, I can double check that for you. We used to have linen pads years and years ago. And I believe now they are made out of foam. I can open one up and show you. Looks like foam to me. I don't think it's felt. I can double check that though and get back to you on that. So let's put our ribbon down. I just do my scotch tape method. And take a piece of tape. Flip it. Oh, first, hold on. Hold the phone. I'm going ahead of myself. I want to put this down first so I can cover those glue dots. So for this, I'm going to use a little bit of Seal Plus. Just because that acetate mixed with the designer series paper makes this a little bit heavier. I don't want it to randomly fall off just put that over towards the left a little bit and now I can see the glue dots that I need to cover up and put that there and wrap my tape around what is going on there cover that up And put that down. And oh no, Wendy says she's not getting any sound, just captions. Is anybody else not able to hear me? I hope that's not something on my end, Wendy. Uh, maybe try with your volume. My mic says it's working, so hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> so I, what I'm going to do here is just, I ran out of many dimensionals this morning. Normally I would use many dimensionals for this. I don't have any. So I'm going to cut the corner, the end, edges of a big sheet of dimensionals and use those. So this is a full pack of, or this is a full sheet of stamp dimensionals. And when you take them off, you get these little bones, these little pieces, outlines. And you can cut those and they're sticky as well. And you can use those instead of mini dimensionals. And then I'm going to use this one for our flower. Oh, Wendy got sound. That's good. 
Hi, Wendy. Glad you can hear me. <laughs> and then so for the leaves here, I'm going to use a little bit of seal again, just because this, the texture of our card is kind of varies. So I want to make sure that nothing randomly falls off or pops off. And I really like the seal plus for that. It's super strong. But just be careful with it because once you stick something down with it, it is not coming up without tearing your project apart. I'm going to tuck that end under there. Hold that down. Use the dimensionals here. Pop that up. And then peel off the backings of these. And go across the bottom with that. And then to finish up, I'm going to be using the gold glitter enamel dots. And this, these have, I believe it's four sizes. One, two, three, four. Yeah. There's two smaller ones, a medium one, and like the large one. And I'm going to be using five of these. And I'm going to be using all the sizes. And I'm just randomly placing five of them wherever I feel like they should go. <laughs> There's no right or wrong way. I'm going to pick one, put one here. Mm, a medium sized one. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So I'm going to move this guy. Am I? Yeah. I do there. There. I like that. So now all that's left to do is to put this in our card base. Oh, and stamping is not done because I almost forgot to stamp the inside of my card, which happens to me more often than you'd think. So for the inside, I use this guy here, the little stamp, little flower stamp there. Put him on a block and my flirty flamingo back out. And... Since I'm using a white base, you really don't need an inside part. I just like the way this looked. And a lot of times when I am making a card uh, for someone specifically, I will stamp here and I'll write before I put it on. So that way, because I have terrible handwriting and if I mess up or I misspell something, I can just toss it and start all over. So now we're ready to put our card together. And don't forget to stick around after that. And I will tell you the winner of our drawing, the Corner Bouquet Stamp Set. And I'm going to use regular stamp and seal for this. I find the Seal Plus on embossed cardstock will pull it and rip it. And I haven't had it do it so bad to where I can't use it anymore, but... I don't want to try. So we're going to put quite a lot of this on the back. And our whisper, basic white. I keep saying whisper white. We don't have that anymore. And I need to get a bone folder because this is driving me crazy. The so bone folders are good to burnish your score lines. And now that doesn't pop up so bad anymore. Just kind of center it. And then the same with the inside of our card. And you could take a piece of flirty flamingo if you wanted and layer that on the inside and make this a quarter inch uh, smaller. And it would have a nice matte layer, but I just I like how the white on white how that looks. So that's our finished card. And now I will let you know the winner of our giveaway from last week. And the winner will receive the corner bouquet stamp set, which is with celebration stamp set, no longer available. And right after this live, I will be contacting you through Facebook Messenger. Whoops, shook the camera. To let you know you've won. So the winner of our giveaway is Phyllis Bates. Congrats. I'll be contacting you soon. And again, guys, there is no live next Friday, but I will be live in my VIP group tomorrow. 
And there is no giveaway this week because there's no live next week. So I'm so glad you all tuned in today and be sure to join my VIP group to see me live tomorrow. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.